June 22nd, 951 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 30. Um, Nick. Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time all by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and, well... I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning! The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Miss Dickmeyer. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Y yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel me in today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough! You can't show weakness in front of the person you love! Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um... Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later then. I'll leave you two to your alone time. Phew, thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? June 22nd, 10am. District Court, courtroom number 2. The court is now in session for the trial of Maya Faye. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Uh, it's sure what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. Ooh. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? But, Ms. Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Faye, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? Prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Faye, to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia, she seems really torn by this. Fitness. Name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium, in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, 
in a manner of speaking. Ah, I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. S spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Y yes, that is... Oof. You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. W what in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. W what? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, vile in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order! Miss Fay, please testify to this court of what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. Maya's escape! After we heard the gunshots, these those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted away me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She's simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Fright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Cross-examination! I believe we want to press on this last part, because there's no, like, if, if you don't know where she went, then there's no proof that she left the channeling chamber. Is that because you're unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true... Then how can you know for sure the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this, but the key word here is this witness. This, this, this witness. <laughs> what do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. It looks like Ms. Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. Can't see a crack in her testimony. What should we do? For now, we should try and get more information out of her. After we get more information from her, we may be able to use it later to our advantage. Okay, so we, we need to press more than just the last statement, apparently. Which is interesting, because that last part implied that we were about to move on to the next witness. Just now you said those two. Who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lot is not a foreigner. Despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. I can already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. Hmm. What did you do after that, Miss Faye? Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. I 
that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another... Another what, madame? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify, why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good Sarah and that camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. During your investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head, and this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however... The witness was, was lying to cover for the defendant. <laughs> the witness was lying to cover, the co cover for the defendant. <laughs> yeah. She was covering for Maya? So, you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she... Ooh. This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Y yes, very well. Ugh, why is it suddenly felt as a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit it to such a thing. However, yes. But you were physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There is no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Faye. Back. Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. Hmm, I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask... Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. That is exactly what we should be. Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee had done was... She had gone to speak with a certain person. She... she went to speak with someone? Who was it? Prosecution calls Ms. Eeny Meeny who was sleeping in the side room at the time. I eeny meeny? I think you can see where this is headed. Fitness. Name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is, like, eeny meeny. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess, most people call it occult stuff? Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Ms. Miney. Meany. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Faye. Is this correct? Um, well, hmm, like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine, for my sake. After the murder. 
Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. It was like the person that entered was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Faye? Really now, Your Honor. Maya Faye was, was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Uh, are you saying the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Mimi. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, w well, this is... Witness. Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. L we'd, we'd love to hear about it. About it. Hear about it. <laughs> um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Ms. Meany, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Amy? She took her revenge? Are you sure that's what she said? Y yes Fair. Are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. Swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. CN. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This. This testimony just now. Was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia? What do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross examine this witness. We believe that our cross examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts up more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Was that because of your, um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I, like... I think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, premonition it was going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm, I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you're taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Do you know the time? Um, uh, like... Maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think? 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Oh, no, I, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time was it when the someone came into your room? Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. S sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... 
That's it. Why did you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Never mind. Witness, about this person who entered the side room. Are you absolutely sure? I guess? You guess? Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. Hmm, but more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright? The defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness. How did you feel when you saw Ms. Mimi Mimi Mimi? Mimi 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 You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but like, maybe if I was like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult. But I like, know all about the Q-Rain channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was, it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she, yeah, like, what she said. Hmm, should I drop this line of questioning? So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But... Ow! Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase, objection? Could you try using that once in a while? Hmm, Mr. Wright. This question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister. Is it really that important? It is very important. Although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Alright, Mr. Wright. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Mimi? Eeny, Mimi? Me, Miss Mimi? Oh god. <laughs> like, okay, I'm like, totally cool with that. I wasn't like, scared at all. And like, her costume looked like, looked totally like, normal. Um... Wasn't covered in blood. That was a very well spun line, Miss Eeny. What are you what are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Miss Meany. May I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. L like, yeah, and? But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. Miss Mimi, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Um... Order, order, Miss Meany, what is the meaning of this? Miss Meany? I'm thinking, don't interrupt me. Um, that, yeet. And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Um, uh, well, I, I, uh, that witness, the personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry, I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. If you please. Ugh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's gonna be. After the murder part two. Like, the side room was, like, kind of dark, you know? So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I, like, 
persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Hmm. Yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Phoenix? M uh, Mr. Wright? <laughs> Alright, I guess not. Very well, you may question the witness. Pillar Murder Part 2. Okay, so what we want to go about here is this last little bit. When they went to the channeling chamber. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Grey, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner the better. She says with her whip at the ready. And like, Ms. Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's no good. Can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge believes this testimony. If you don't find some sort of hitch in her statement, he'll end the trial, I know. You have to give it another shot. Doesn't matter how many times we listen, we can't give up. Okay, I'm just need to press an earlier part to get the options I need. Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court. Like, that's right. Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Meanie's? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Like, okay. Ugh, can't breathe. Let me out of here. You... You... didn't see the blood? Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at that time as well. That's, um... Are you gonna tell me next you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face? Hmm. Continue. Oh. And what was your sister Miss Mimi Mimi like at the time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Grey. But I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi's spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. May I ask you one more thing, Miss Mimi? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when? Um, when you... Talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? I ask because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Very well. Miss Meany, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. Okay, so this is clearly a lie. Or, you know, it doesn't make sense, because we know that Pearl was sitting in the middle of the winding way, repairing the sacred urn. Which... You'd, you'd have to see her. It's impossible not to. Finally found the fault, or I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. Take a look at this urn. Like, urn? There are cracks. Do you see them? So? Like, what does that prove? Objection! Who cares about some about some worn-out old urn? 
like, yeah. I already, like, said I didn't see, like, anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. I didn't, like, totally say anything about, like, an urn, did I? It looks like you still don't understand. I propose if you'd really been walking along the winding way at that time, there was no way you could not have seen this person. Precious little baby. I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Ms. Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Yes? And how is this child relevant? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh. And she just happened to break this urn. Um, Phoenix, I think Morgan will hear you say this. She's in the courtroom. This is supposed to be a secret. Oh. Oh! Wait, she broke the urn? Yup, she accidentally knocked it over with her ball. Yup, she accidentally knocked it over with her ball. And Pearl was the one who put it back together, while sitting right in the middle of the winding way. What? Miss Maney. Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I have to declare you legally blind. I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Meany. You are a masterful liar. Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what you're saying is the witness. So, Miss Meany, tell us the truth. Uh, about what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. That's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? No. The lies end here. What are you... The witness says that during the actual murder she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible because there is clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? Earlier in your testimony, Miss Meany, you made the following statement. And, like, Ms. Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's true that at the time, both myself and Ms. Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So? Like, what does that like have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Meany, how did you know that fact? H how? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Meany, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by way of the winding way. Wow. But look at the Manor Guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why, which is why I ask this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, ugh. Miss Meany, please answer the question. Can I ask a question off, off of a baseless assumption, if you please? Well, I suppose since you put it on the table, Mr. Phoenix of Right. You might as well answer the question for us. Bear was the witness at the time of the murder. Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Amy Meany. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? She was in the scene of the crime, of course. Miss Meany was here, of course. What? But, but that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Meany was at the scene of the crime. 
Order, order, order. That's why that is. Wow. Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when then the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Messini Meany was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Over here. Here, of course. B behind the folding screen? Ah! Don't let me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. See? You stupid jerk. Quit being so quick dependent on me, slime ball. N now, now, Miss Meany, one thing is you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Grams, as if you know exactly how old I am. Uh, I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. The clothing box. She was, she was in the box. So you couldn't see it because she was inside a box. Miss Meany. How you were able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah! Th 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 that tiny little box? No person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um, but that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm. Mr. Wright. Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. It's the folding screen. It has the same hole in it. Take a look at this clothing box. Oh, so stupid. So if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. Is it this? What on earth? Hmm. I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? Folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen, which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and into the box. <laughs> Miss Meany, you were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Order, order. So what you were saying is, th then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Meeny? That is exactly what I am saying. Miss Eeny Meeny, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. T to masquerade as Maya Fey? She had a plan from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. N no S stop I Can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea this whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretending to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do all that by herself. It really is impossible for one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ow! Never remind you, the foolish receive no mercy. W wait, Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? Y you can't be serious. <sighs> Miss Meany, you had an accomplice. Morgan. Uh, this person. If it wasn't someone from Q Rain Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. 
and if it wasn't someone from the Faye household, you wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan Faye. Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Meanie? Urgh. Urgh. You shot Dr. Grey with your own two hands. Do you deny it? This is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Grey with the knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Bang. <laughs> Dr. Grey was actually not yet dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Grey and... After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room? Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Meany, she immediately covered her own costume with blood and pretended to be Maya Fey. But that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry before there are more victims here. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. <laughs> Who is that? Laughing at a time like this? Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry, are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? Miss Von Karma, surely... Of course it was me. Do you really think some of the Von Karma blood would lose you to something this petty? What in the world? Mr. Phoenix right. Your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is? If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go to, to all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this, this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Eh? Well, that's... uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, <laughs> one other thing. Why would Miss Amy Meany want to kill Dr. Grey? There is her motive. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. Uh, motive. That's... I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is her reason for wanting Dr. Grey dead? The reason you want Dr. Grey dead is this. So, so the car accident. Yeah? Huh. Just as I thought. You bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix, right? This is great. Not even she is calling me with my full name. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes! Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Grey drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Senile stupid cramps. I'm like, 
kind of explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I, like, wanted revenge, then like, I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, I'm sorry, it's like, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like, Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She, she's back to her airhead persona. However, you see... Ouch! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. The end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Meany has stated is very true. Her revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. Tisk tisk. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should really learn your place. <laughs> what happened? I thought I had her for sure. <laughs> See, like, just as I, like, told you. I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Very well, and I conclude the cross examination of Miss Eeny Meeny. Oh, that. Your Honor, please, allow the defense one more minute. Alright. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. R really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Grey, but it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Red. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Meany had a motive, then why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? I am not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Meany had a motive. <laughs> too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination is already ended, after all. Ah! Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Fright. What? Y you're supposed to be on my side. Ah! Our Von Karma only cares about the perfect vin. As long as you have the bill to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Fright. And I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I will throw you out of my way. No way. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross-examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait, wait a sec here. To be continued. You might already be able to guess what her motive is, based on what we've heard so far. Um, or you might not. Um, either way, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you look forward to the thrilling conclusion coming up next. <laughs>